Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ratchet & Clank 3. My name is Hal. And in the last episode we cleared out the uh, sewers, or at least no we didn't clear it out, we kind of visited the sewers of Aquatos. And today we're going to head back to the Starship Phoenix to um, to do a vid comic. Because we've got more vid comics to do and stuff. Uh, actually I think it's just the one we've got. We got quite a while back. So we're going to go and uh, do that. Sorry to disturb your work, sir, but you may want to know that your impenetrable secret base on Aquatos has been penetrated. Impossible! If you say so, sir, they apparently stole some sort of data disk. Well, I must be off now. Dirty laundry and whatnot. Who is responsible for this outrage? I believe it was a Captain Quark or something. You will always be the love of my life. You really should have that looked at. Back! That moron could never hope to match wits with the likes of me. If anyone can beat a moron at his own game, it's you, sir. He has, however, assembled a group of elite agents known as the Q Force. What? This Q Force must be stopped. Destroy them. It's on my to-do list, right after folding your undergarments. Ah, other cutscenes with uh, Lawrence and Dr. Nefarious in them. Those make me chuckle. Lawrence is very secret, secret backhanded, uh, not even compliments their uh, insults. Very subtle though. Always makes me laugh. So... Here we are in Starship Phoenix. Well, team, I believe some congratulations are in order. <laughs> After all, my plan worked even more perfectly than expected. Well? Uh, way to go, dude? Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. Uh. Now that I know where the Tyranoids are coming from, I can put a stop to this alien menace once and for all. With utter disregard for my own safety, I've drawn up an ingenious plan for an attack on Tyrannosis. First, I shall humbly step aside, allowing Ratchet to free fall down and take out the mortar launchers at the landing site. Once the mortars have been silenced, the dropship will make its descent. Next, Ratchet will take the assault vehicle from the dropship, make his way to the four plasma cannon turrets, and destroy them. Once the turrets have been knocked out, Ratchet will personally lead the assault on the main enemy base. All right, let's get to it! Yes, you there in the front. Uh, yeah, hi. I was just wondering, what are the rest of you going to be doing while I'm down there getting blasted? We'll be monitoring the situation closely from here. Actually, we'll be down at the lunch buffet on deck five. It's meatloaf day. But we'll be rooting for you every step of the way. Yeah, ma'am, we got your back. Yeah, the plan is excellent. I was not expecting that uh, cutscene. So anyway, we've got um. Skid, can you hear me? Hang on, I wonder if I can. I want that report hmm. on my desk by 0800. Yes, got a skill point. Sweet. Anyway, um, so in the next episode, we will be going to uh, Tyrannosis, uh, the Tyranoid home planet. And doing some battles and stuff, that will be cool. But that's, as I said, in the next episode, and today we're going to go and do that vid comic. A new suit of armor is available at the Gadgetron Armor Vendor. Woo! Ratchet, that new armor suit for sale at the vendor is constructed from ionized adamantine alloy. That's one of the hardest substances in the galaxy. But I suppose you already knew that. Ratchet, I couldn't help but notice that you aren't wearing your regulation green Q-Force tights. I 
Nice. Anyway, that was very close to adamantium. Very close. Ooh, that's cool. That's very cool. I think I'm going to save up for that, as opposed to the magna plate. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll save up for that. It, we'll get it soon enough anyway. I mean, I don't know, a world or two, and uh, a planet or two, and then we'll have enough. Anyway, two ratchets. Uh, Quarters? Yeah, living room. Oh, the the tree room seems seems empty now. Anyway, let's have a look at issue A two. Ariba Amoeba. Uh, hey Quark, how you doing? Quark, comic episode two. Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids. Born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think. They called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying, no good. <laughs> right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous Amoeboid Horde. Ah, so that's where Amoeboids come from. Whoa, hello. I didn't realise that. Oh, I guess I did realise just when I was younger, but Dr. Nefarious! He created the Meboids! That's kind of cool! Anyway, so here we are in Blackwater City. Alright, now for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Awesome. Nice. Um. Yeah, but Blackwater City is, makes quite a few appearances in uh, the Ratchet and Clank uh, games, isn't it? I mean, what, at least three? Haha! -ha, take that! Flames! Oh my god! Sweet. So anyway, I guess uh, the um, hmm. So yeah, Blackwater Sea does seem to sink. Oh God, hello. Ah, uh, take that. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Blackwater City, I would say, is quite a uh, a. Uh, Hang on, have I missed any coins? Oh no, okay, there's nothing down there. Or is there? That's the question. Uh, I don't need to kill those, do I? Oop. Ah! Okay, so I don't lose the, the quark point things, just lose out on time. Um, Blackwater City, I think I've always had like a love hate relationship with Blackwater City. Simply because. It's quite a cool level, though. No, there is nothing down there. Cool. Um, so, I mean, it's always been... There's only... What? There's... It appears in Dread... Number one, obviously. Number three, obviously. Twice in number three, actually, I think. And then... Uh, again in Deadlocked, is it? Or is it just in number three? Because it... Uh, I, know, I remember the one in number three. Oh Christ. That really spits out quite quick a lot, doesn't it? And quite quickly. Um What was my train of thought? 
Yeah, because I remember it was even number three. Or, uh... Okay, that's cool. In number three, it looks completely different from uh, how it did in number one. That's what makes me believe I might, it might be in uh, Deadlocked that it comes back. I'm pretty sure it's in number three, actually, because I remember fighting it along, uh, alongside Galactic Rangers, and obviously they're not in Deadlocked. The hell? I don't know. Ah, take that. Oh my god, those, those aren't things I can shoot. Well, the points would suggest that I'm about halfway through the level, hopefully. Otherwise, I've missed some points, which I wish don't think... I don't think I've missed any yet so far. What's done this way? Ah, super token. Sweet. Uh, yep. Is there anything down there? Nope, nope, nothing at all. <laughs> nice. Oh god! That was quite scary. So obviously I'm going to try and get 100 of, uh, aiming for 100 of the points. Yeah, I'm on 69. No, I'm not. Um, to get the platinum bolt. Oh, that was close. Now one would hope that I'm very... Around some more, oh, there's three. Right. How many have I got to get? 25, is that? Eat fire, I guess. Ah! Okay, here we go. Maybe I should write these down to see if there's any down here. For whatever reason that there might be. This is where I learned that there is. It just stops and yeah, it, they just disappear. So there's nothing there. Lovely. Oh, I'm all the way back here. Fantastic. Right, here we go. Oh. So I guess if I just don't miss any up here. Health? Why did I miss 20? Oh crap. Hmm. I have to go back and find those missing tokens, aren't I? Yep. His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me. I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath. Okay, well, um, I seem to have. I got something more, but I haven't got 20. If it makes sense, I still haven't got it. So I'm going to go and do some research and we'll clear this level up uh, in the beginning of the next episode. Make sure we get all 100 of the co top coins. But I guess for now, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.